Hello, and uh, welcome back to class. My name is Carlos Rodriguez, and I will be your personal instructor. Now, in this video, we're gonna go over how you connect to the internet. I know, I know, most of you are gonna be like, Carlos, I don't wanna, all I do is press a button and then it auto connects. But trust me, I cannot stress to you the importance of knowing these pieces and how they fit together. These terms will really help you understand the magical land of the internet and how it gets to your devices. It's kind of like owning your own car. You should know to change your oil every like five to 10,000 miles. And I think it's absolutely nuts that most people don't know this and how it works. So please stick with me here and I'll make this as simple as possible. This will not be exhaustive though. So uh, it'll get us headed in the right direction. Now with that being said, what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Most of us have computers in our home, and for most of us that do have computers or other devices that hook up to the internet, those same people likely have the internet. The internet allows us to be productive, work from home, talk to friends, family, and have access to entertainment on demand, like cat videos. Life for most of us would not be the same without the internet and cat videos. So where's all this data coming from, you may ask? And where do your shows come from? You know, the ones where you shamelessly wear uh, sweats all week and binge watch like 21 seasons of your favorite show without moving. I would say like if you just did that first, go take a shower and, uh, and I'll tell you. Um, but computers are the backbone of the information highway that is the internet. Computers called servers hold copious amounts of data, and yes, that does include your TV shows that are transferred from server to server through wires or airwaves, then back to your device through your modem and router. What is a modem, you say? Your modem is responsible for interpreting the data that comes into your home from outside, and it makes that data usable for your device. The term modem comes from the days when your telephone provider would modulate and demodulate, which is just a fancy word for saying translate, an analog signal from your computer to use, and then modulate, once again translate, the signal sent back across the wires to your ISP. Modems will connect to, which you will typically see as a black round wire coming from the telephone pole outside to your home or even some areas it comes from underground, but in either case, these wires are then wired into your home. If you're the privileged few to have access to fiber or gigabit, your connections may look a little bit different, you lucky duck you. <laughs> but to keep this simple, uh, you will typically see this as a wire coming off a telephone pole outside, and coaxial cable is usually what it is called. That cable is wired into your walls and hooks up to the back of your modem. Then another cable called Cat5 or Cat6 cable, and this is not literally a cat for those of you horribly mortified right now. These are typically blue or black wires, although they do come in a lot of different colors. Now, let's talk router. Your router typically is a separate piece of equipment from your modem. Your router works very hard in carrying or routing your 21 seasons worth of episodes from your modem to your device like your TV or smart refrigerator. So toss a coin to your router, oh valley of plenty, and don't be one of those people that use your phone to continue watching your shows while on the toilet. Wow, this is so good. Ew, don't, don't do that. You know who you are, uh-huh. Anyway, back to your router. Your router has many more ports or places on the back where cables can be clicked into than your modem does, and these cables are Cat5 or Cat6 uh, cables like we talked about earlier. Now, the modem does have uh, a single port, but if you have more than one device to be hooked up to the internet, then you would be limited on how many devices that would have access to the internet at the same time. Or I suppose you could look ridiculous and just move the wire back and forth between the devices to get internet one at a time. That would get really annoying and super tedious, plus you'd look ridiculous. Uh, this is where the router comes in. As stated before, it has many more ports than the modem, allowing you to hook more devices to the internet than the modem itself would allow. In addition, most home routers nowadays come with a wireless feature or Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, you know? Uh, wireless routers route that internet similar to how the wired version works, but instead it does this over radio waves. 
these types of routers still get their information from the modem and then it broadcasts that information wirelessly to your devices like cell phones, printers, gaming consoles, and smart toilet. So you don't have to flush manually or hook up your devices with wires. Now, having a wireless router is a nice feature to have when you're totally not watching your videos on the commode. Hmm. Anyway, want to know something a little extra for your beautiful brain? Ever wondered why you could connect to your router and not be able to get the internet or get online? You see, your wireless router is like a car radio being able to connect to 101.1 FM. But if all you hear is static, for some reason the music cannot be sent across the frequency 101.1, even though you are connected to it. That information, in this case, can't be sent across the wireless signal. And that's why. The wireless signal and the getting online are two different things. There you go. Look at you and all your fresh knowledge. So a quick summary. Servers hold the data that you send and receive every day. Servers are called computers. Two, wires called fiber, coaxial, cat5, or cat6 cables carry that information to your home from your computer using your modem. Modems translate that information on the lines coming into your home from the ISP and turn it into something your device can use. Routers increase how many devices you can have online at one time. Most nowadays can do this wirelessly. And uh, other than almost dropping that, <laughs> that about wraps up how you connect to the internet. You get all that? Look, I know that was a lot, but I know you have this. You are smart and amazing. So take some time, let it sink in. While you are watching your cat videos, give a little thought of how everything is connected uh, to the internet. Like your shows uh, and your entertainment, such as those cute and adorable little cats with their cute cuddly mitts and their big googly eyes. And <clears throat> that wraps up this class. Mm -hmm.